Explosion Barbecue has been an annual rally in Northwest Arkansas for more than two decades, bringing hundreds of thousands of bikers to our area one weekend every fall. Five News reporter Katherine Gilker tells us how a local woman made a documentary about the rally after moving here. I'm here at the historical Victory Theater in downtown Rogers, where the documentary Hogtown will be screened locally for the first time on Saturday. The documentary is about the rally and its impact on Northwest Arkansas. It all started almost a decade ago when Raylynn Munnicky and her family came to Fayetteville to visit ahead of moving here. Unknowingly, the weekend was Bikes, Blues and Barbecue. We kind of experienced what Bikes, Blues and Barbecue was. We were coming from Dallas. Everyone was telling us the traffic was going to be awful. We bring in more tax revenue to Fayetteville than an entire home football season. Once we moved here, it was a continual curiosity growing as the town would shift on the weekend of Bikes, Blues and Barbecue. And there was a lot of residents that kind of didn't like it and a lot of um, just interesting conversations around it. In 2017, Munnikey started pulling out her camera and interviewing businesses, bikers and directors, getting to know what the rally was all about and the impact it had on Fayetteville. Through all of that, it developed into this story that was the dichotomy of Bikes Blues and Fayetteville, and then how that is echoing the growth and the challenge with growth. Through all of her interviews, she isn't surprised a rally moved up I-49 to Rogers. Fayetteville really made it difficult for the festival. From what I could see and as I watched news, it was hard to see Fayetteville not receive the gift that the festival really was to the city. She says producing the film has been a long process, but the timing of how everything worked out has been amazing. Following the steps of what has happened through the pandemic, the challenges of a festival in that time, and then seeing it really transform to now it being in Rogers and the film really speaks to how it got there. There will be two screenings of Hogtown here at Victory Theater on Saturday. The first will be at four o'clock and the second at 630. Tickets are just five dollars in Rogers covering news where you live. Katherine Gilker, Five News. Hogtown was screened at, the Vail, screened at the Vail Film Festival in 2020. For those not able to make it to the screenings tomorrow, the film will soon be released on a streaming platform. We'll find out which one next week.